Hi, Clay. How are you? How are you? I'm okay. I'm, How are you? I'm great. I'm just great. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. I'm representing the Baltimore Claymates. They're looking so forward to the concert when you're coming to town February 22nd. Oh, great. Thank you. Now, your tours are like a variety show. You change things up quite a bit. Can you give us a sneak peek of what's coming up? <laughs> well, this, this, the, pre the preparations for this tour have been like a variety show then because they, <laughs> it's changing up quite a bit every time I, every time I turn around, it seems. Um, <laughs> uh, it is, um, what to, can I tell you what to, what to expect? Not really, because I don't know what to expect yet. Um, we, uh, we, we're definitely going to continue. We're, you know, it's, it's a tour that's promoting the, that's promoting Tried and True. I mean, it's, the, the point of it is to is to go out and sing the songs off of the off of the last album. Um, and of course, I'll I'll try to I'll try to insert a few songs that have not been on the last album in there as much as possible. Speaking of, hold on one second. I mean, just I just remembered something, and I don't think about doing it right now. And I will. Um, I will. I'm going to ins insert some other songs from, from different from different uh, albums, as, if possible, and we like to kind of keep things, we kind of like to do a little funny thing every once in a while and do a little uh, uh, gag type thing every once in a while. Um, and so, uh, so we like to keep doing things, oh, I dropped something. But for the most part, it is a show that is, uh, that is based on the, the Tried and True album. Awesome. One fan request I have to say is, if you could change up some different versions of songs like you did with When Doves Cry, perhaps a Lady Gaga song. That's what they want me to say. <laughs> that would be so much fun. I've heard, uh, you, you have done your job. <laughs> okay, now, of course you did spam a lot, and now you're doing Broadway backwards. Fans want to know, does that mean you'll return to Broadway in the future? Um, I am, hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Um, do I, well, will I return to Broadway anytime soon? Somebody's got to ask me first. But uh, I mean, I, I enjoy I enjoy doing it. I don't want to do a show that's not that's not um, doesn't allow me to sing. And so uh, and and so as offers as, as as offers come in, if they do, then I will you know will consider um, will consider the uh, the the possibility. <laughs> possibility. Yeah. Um, but on, you know whether or not it's whether or not it's a singing show, I kind of don't, I kinda, not that I wouldn't do another show that doesn't allow me to sing, but, um, you know, I want to, I want to be able to sing. Yeah, because you were excellent, I did see it, it was an awesome show. Um, now, it's posted and circulating all over that you did watch American Idol because you're supporting the young Victoria that you know. What have I told you about Rick Belief and what, everything you read? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I did watch it, I did, I did tune in because my mom told me to tune in. Um, but, uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that I'm supporting anyone. I, won't, I probably won't watch it anymore. Uh, well, well, one question is, do you think she was portrayed accurately on the show? Well, did you read what, you, what the guy wrote? Uh, no, I'm not sure. There was a couple of articles out there. Yeah, I do think she was. I think she was. I think she's perky. She's definitely a, she's definitely a perky, energetic girl. She's always been very happy. Yeah, because the responses from fans are that she's annoying, so that's why I'm a little concerned, you know, that she's going to have people that think that way or others that think she was perky and cute. Well, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a damn shame when people think that someone who's happy is annoying. Yeah. I think anybody who thinks that someone who's happy is annoying is probably not very happy themselves. And she, she was, like yeah. Somebody else be that happy. She was so cute with the yo-yo dog to Randy, so that was just perfect. Um, now, what do you think of the new judges? Well, I didn't watch enough to, to, to have an opinion. I really don't. I haven't watched Idol in years, so I really can't. I mean, I, I, I definitely think that they are they're big stars. That's great, right? Yes, that is great. It was a good show. I was surprised myself. Now, do you watch any TV like Glee or anything like that? I don't watch anything like Glee, but I do have a few. I mean, I, I, I definitely have a. I definitely have my shows that I enjoy for sure. But I don't watch. I don't watch. I don't watch anything that's musical. I don't think. Oh wow! I'm surprised by that. Now, how about your dance moves improving? Do you think you would ever consider dancing with the stars? How about my what? The dancing. Well, I heard the last part. <laughs> but what about my dance moves improving? Yes, I'm of dancing. course. I was like, what? Um, would I consider dancing with the stars? Um, well, let me there's... put it this way. I haven't really explored that too much because I don't anticipate it being um, an issue that uh, uh, issue that I. Uh, I don't anticipate needing to. 
I mean, I think that I don't, I don't foresee Dancing with the Stars having an American Idol contestant on it anytime. Oh, my goodness. Let me just say, even that you paused and even considered this, do you know that the heart rate problems would increase across America? You'd be sending all these no, women to the hospital. I would not say no to it. Oh, that is so... But I don't, I don't foresee it being an issue. If they called me and asked me, I'd probably, I'd probably think about it. Oh, oh, you don't know what I that means. Let me put it this way. <laughs> They are going to call me now. Oh, call me and ask me, then we'll talk, but I don't think That's so. awesome. Well, then I wanted, I, I thought you would say no completely, but I am just thrown. Well, I don't think I did that well. Uh, oh, come on. Your dance moves have improved. You can shake some hips now. Come on. I don't think, I, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about it. Well, I want to ask about another reality show, because you have quick wit and you're very competitive. How about Celebrity Apprentice? Um, I would probably. No, well, I don't know what Wit has to do with Celebrity Apprentice. I haven't watched the Celebrity Apprentice. I've watched The Apprentice years ago. Um, and, and, and definitely a, a good friend of mine and I used to sit there and, and, and constantly critique how they did things. Um, I think we could do it better. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if reality shows for me are necessarily, I mean, if a comp, another competition is something that I want to get caught up in. But um, I'm not really that competitive a person. Really? Um, really? I think you are. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Uh, but, you know, I, wouldn't, I, I don't know that I would. But there are definitely some shows, some competition shows that I wouldn't do. I probably couldn't do the event too much anymore. I just don't have the. I was shocked to hear that you would do that. I didn't. Well, it was a lot different then. Yeah, yeah. You didn't have to eat crap, but you don't. I mean, it was just really normal. Um, now it's, I think, a little bit, a little bit more fear factorish. Right. Now, I, you, uh, go ahead. I would consider Celebrity Apprentice, for sure. Awesome. Have you ever met Donald Trump? Oh, you have? Because what do you think about him possibly running for president? No comment? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, well, I, I, you, you, when, you, when someone's on TV, you don't really see what their political views are. You I mean, know. I make an opinion on whether or not I wanted him to run for president until I knew what his position was. Right, right. Well, you know, you mentioned before that you would love to be a talk show host. Are you still thinking about that on the horizon? I always think about it. I don't know if that makes it going <laughs> to we can dream about lots of things. Oh, I dream about. Well, how about uh, uh, replacing Regis? <laughs> oh, no, we did think about putting my name up for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, God. I really, sh I really think we should call him an answer. I do too. That would be a I riot. Think, I, think, I think we have a better chance of me getting on both Celebrity Apprentice and Dancing with the Stars and winning them at the same time <laughs> um, than we have of me doing it. Of course, of course. I think, you know, we could become, she and I could become best friends. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't that be the talk wouldn't of the that town? that be a story for the ages? That sure would be. Now I'm going to change the subject. How is Parker? I'm going to change the subject right back away from him. Oh. Well, that's about it. A terrible twos? Nothing you can say? I'm not going to say anything about him. I have to live my life in the spotlight. He doesn't need to do that. Oh, he's so sweet. How about just uh, touching base on how fatherhood has changed your life? I'm sure you have different outlooks now. I mean, yeah, I mean, it definitely changes things. It changes the way you think. It changes the way you, um, but, but more than anything, it makes me just ultra protective, and that's why of I course. can't leave him out of interviews. Of course. Things. Smart choice. Uh, it's the fans want to know, how is Parker? I'm just repeating what the claymates are asking me. Finally, are you going to be working on a new CD anytime soon? Um, well, uh, we, I, I kind of have, uh, I mean, yes. I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to get to doing that at some point. I don't have, we don't have a date necessarily set um, in mind. We had talked for a while about the Christmas album being something that I would do uh, in the future, but I don't think this year will be the year for that, simply because of, you know, the, the way the marketplace looks for, for Christmas albums this year and other people who have them coming out and, um, and whatnot. So it probably won't be this year, but it's something I want to do at some point, and, and, um, and whether or not that's the next album or not, I don't know. Um, but I kind of, I really try to focus my energies on um, on one, excuse me, focus my energies on one particular uh, um, thing at a time. And so this tour has occupied my, my mind grapes for, for this, uh, this tour. Sure. This moment. Right, sure. Now, one last favor. I'm doing an article on um, the, the servicemen of our country, and I know your brother being one of them. Can you make a statement of showing support for, like, the wounded soldiers and those that are still serving our country? I would show support for wounded and unwounded and non-wounded. Right, right. I, think it's a, I mean, there, there, there are people in this world who, who do jobs that I couldn't do, and those days range from accountant to to um, to 
Marine, mm -hmm. uh, and I wouldn't be able to, to, to do a lot of those things, but none of them make the sacrifices. Um, no other um, occupation makes the sacrifices or, or goes in as bravely and loyally and, and uh, as, as the armed as those men and women in uniform, and so I absolutely can't, uh, uh, couldn't for one moment um, think about doing that. And can't, I mean, I look at my brother and I look at his friends and I, and I, and I see see people who are who are putting their life on the line for for all of us and i think that that is uh that's probably the best gift that anyone can give to their country or their fellow man so uh, i'm extremely appreciative yes that's the truth thank you so much well that's basically it i could talk to you all day you're just so pleasure you're pleasurable to speak with but i am going to be in the audience february 22nd third row waving at you so i wish you nothing but the best and